we have two incredibly muddy ponies. You can sit a bit more on Carrie because obviously she's done. Without further ado, let's get them in. And behind me you will see Mud Monster number one, aka Lolly. Um, I tie him up out here so he can have a little bit of munch of grass. Um, as you can see, he's scratching his bum on the fence, so I had that go and stop that before he pushes the whole fence over. <laughs> He absolutely loves a roll, especially, if I show you here, on his neck, around his face. He always loves a good head rub. Even when I bring him in, um, he's always trying to rub his head on me. Loves a good old scratch. Obviously, his back's not too bad, but I imagine that'd be quite itchy because um, he does get quite dry skin. So the first product I am reviewing is Velvet. Um, it is silicon free. Um, unlike a lot of mane and tail conditioners that are on the market, it's silicon free. Um, it's completely natural, contains all natural ingredients, which is brilliant. So I want to try and keep my horses as natural as possible. Um, especially now Lolly's getting older, his skin's a lot more sensitive. So I don't want to be putting anything on there that's too full of nasty chemicals and things. Um, and also um, it's free of parabens. It's also cruelty free as well. So I know it's not going to have been tested on animals. And also something that's really close to my heart, it's also um, like British made um, and it's from a small equestrian business and I am all about supporting small equestrian businesses. Another thing I absolutely love is the colours, if you can see. Um, they, it, I can imagine this really standing out um, on a shelf. It's a really, really modern design and actually if you look, it's the British flag as well, which emphasises the fact that it's a British company, which is awesome. <laughs> Here we have Lolly looking rather guilty, bless him, because he is so muddy and he's got clumps of it and his mane is all slightly matted. We've got great big clumps of mud up here. It's his favourite place to uh, itch when he rolls all behind his ears as well. Bless him. Good boy, Lolly. So there's two ways that you can use the uh, velvet conditioner. The first way is you can just spray it in and leave it in, uh, which is what I'll do for the mane and tail today. Um, and the second way, which is what I will do for his socks, is you get um, you dampen the legs uh, using obviously warm or cold water, whichever you want to do. I'm going to use warm water. Um, and a soft cloth you can damp them spray it on give it a little bit of a scrub and then rinse it off um, which is really good because i'll be using it both ways and be able to give you the verdict on how effective they are amazing you can really smell the spearmint and the orange as well it really stands out amongst other brands i think like if there was a horse uh, or like another person using it on my yard and like they sprayed it as i walked past um i'd definitely be able to tell that it was one of pommel's products um it's just brilliant <laughs> So I am just going to use um, a dandy brush. Um, I've got some warm water in here. So I'm going to have a look and see how effective it is at getting rid of mud. <laughs>
their legs. We have one glowing leg and then one dirty leg. Eee! Wow, I must admit, like, this is so, so nice to use because it smells great, it doesn't leave a residue and that feels all nice and silky. Now, I'm not going to do the other legs because actually I want to test, see how this leg fares in terms of the mud staying off it. I'll be interested to see um, if it does repel the mud um, when he rolls. We will check back in a few days um, and see how this leg compares to the others. <laughs> are four days on and after loads of heavy rain and as you can see loads of mud judging by um, his other legs uh, you can still see there's a massive difference between the um, leg that I did with the uh, velvet by pommel and then the leg that um, I didn't do with it um, it doesn't seem like the mud sticks to this one like I honestly haven't groomed it or anything I've literally just bought him in um, but as you can see there's no mud that's stuck to it which is pretty cool. So that's a winner in my eyes. So overall, would I recommend Pommel's Velvet? Actually, yeah, I would definitely um, I'm really like quite critical of some of the things that I use um, because quite frankly I don't have like oodles and oodles of time to spend uh, grooming them um, I also like to use uh, natural ingredients so that also rules out a lot of products that are currently on the market um, so actually this kind of solves two of my problems um, it doesn't take that much effort to use and I get results uh, quite effortlessly um, and also it's a natural product um, you don't need to use too much of it either which is really good um, so it's 19.99 for this although they do often have uh, various offers um, and discounts so check out their social media to keep on top of that um, they've also been featured in uh, horse and hound as well um, as an up-and-coming brand um, so these are definitely um, a brand to keep an eye out for um, I know they do have another exciting range coming up so they're developing new products all the time so I can definitely see pommel being like a one-stop shop for me to use um, so go and check out their website, I'll put the details in um, the caption that goes along with this video. Um, the website's also down here and uh, this is also their social media handle. Um, also check out uh, my Instagram as well um, because I will be uh, regularly um, reviewing lots of different products um, and some more from the Pommel range as well. Um, and you can kind of keep an eye out on the kinds of things that I'm doing uh, with Carrie and Lonnie. Carrie's new as well so it's really good um, it would be great if you could watch us um, and just kind of see our progress together and obviously the adventures that I have with Lolly especially now he is a golden oldie so I kind of have one at either end of the spectrum really um, so yeah thanks for tuning in guys um, drop me a comment give me some feedback on the video um, let me know if you've tried out any of Pommel's products which ones are your favorites um, which ones would you like to try and why um, thanks guys for tuning in catch you later